is Kate Wilgerber. I'm from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I am a patient advocate at a women's reproductive health center, and I come from a family of working class small business owners. I'm a secular humanist and I'm openly secular. I figured out what atheism was sometime probably in late high school and then I discovered the local humanist group in my area in the Lehigh Valley and got involved with that and once I learned more about uh, secular humanism and the, those values in the humanist manifesto then I kind of relabeled as a secular humanist. Just making sure that you try to leave the world a better place than when you found it. Um, making sure that you stand for social justice and keeping the environment healthy and treating people with dignity and respect and charity, reason, compassion, and hope, right? I think there's a lot of distrust. They think that people can't be good unless they have a deity to refer to. Um, I'm, I'm lucky that I live in a little bit of a liberal bubble by design, but there are people uh, in my family that I keep a bit on the periphery that aren't pleased. I just don't get a lot of pushback on it because I surround myself with people that are, that are very open to all different kinds of beliefs. When you read all the studies about how no one would vote for an atheist president, uh, it, it floors me. You know, it's, it's really upsetting because I think if people looked around and they knew how many people around them were secular, it would it would improve things a lot. You know, we, I think we can learn a lot from the gay rights movement. As soon as you know someone who's gay and you know that you care about them and love them, then you're more likely to fight for their rights and I think it's the same for us.